Hey everybody. Welcome to the West Wing Week, your guide to everything that's happening at 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue. This week, the President announced a decision about the Keystone Pipeline, met with the Prime Minister of Israel, honored America's veterans, and hopped on a new social media platform. That's November 6th to November 12th, or there's, there's a, a fox, fox somewhere on the grounds, because I've seen it, it's wandered around the Oval Office. On Friday, the President announced that the United States will not approve construction on the proposed Keystone XL Pipeline. The Keystone XL pipeline would not serve the national interests of the United States. For years, the Keystone pipeline has occupied what I frankly consider an overinflated role in our political discourse. It became a symbol too often used as a campaign cudgel by both parties rather than a serious policy matter. On Monday, the President welcomed Prime Minister Bibi Netanyahu of Israel to the White House. Later that day, Facebook got a new user. Make sure you like the page of President Obama to hear from him directly on important issues facing our country and some just for fun stuff too. We're gonna to need you to help us on this. On Tuesday, the President welcomed to the Oval Office the American laureates of the 2015 Nobel Prizes, four Americans who have excelled in medicine, chemistry, and economics. You know, when I think about what uh, all of you have accomplished and, and uh, the potential good that it's doing, is humbling for me, uh, but it, uh, it's a good reminder of why it's so important for us to support our academic institutions. On Veterans Day, the President visited Arlington National Cemetery to honor those who have served our country. Our veterans are some of the most talented, driven, capable people on earth. Think about the leadership that they've learned their ability to adapt to changing and unpredictable situations. They can perform under pressure. They've helped reconstruct towns and mediate disputes. They've managed large-scale projects. They've learned how to work on teams, how to stay committed to a mission, how to solve seemingly intractable problems. They get stuff done, and they are selfless, and they are brave, and they are qualified, and America needs folks who know how to get stuff done. Meanwhile, the First Lady and Dr. Biden hosted a Veterans Day luncheon as part of their Joining Forces initiative. On Thursday, the President awarded Captain Florent Grober of Maryland the Medal of Honor for Conspicuous Gallantry when he tackled a suicide bomber in Afghanistan in 2012. The truth is, Flo says that day was the worst day of his life, and that is the stark reality behind these Medal of Honor ceremonies. For all the valor we celebrate, all the courage that inspires us. These actions were demanded amid some of the most dreadful moments of war. That's precisely why we honor heroes like Flo. Because on his very worst day, he managed to summon his very best. Tune in next week for a special West Wing Week Asia Travels edition as the President embarks on a 10-day trip to Turkey, the Philippines, and Malaysia. And remember, you can find out more information about any of these topics and see complete videos at whitehouse.gov. Thanks so much for checking out this edition. Thanks of so much, Wing everybody. Week. We'll pretend that it's a selfie. Who's, good? Who's got a camera? You have one. one. Uh, you have one? All right, so like Ariel will email it. <laughs> <laughs> Just trying to create <laughs> <laughs>